All right, welcome to Murder Holes R Us. Population, get fucked. Look at this building. Look how fun it looks. Eh, yeah, yeah. We're tucked here in the corner, except for that fucking building. Well, I mean, doesn't change the fact we're tucked in the corner. There's still that fucking building. We have this tall hedge over here. We've got this shit over here. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Large scout that we shot down. It has been... What, over an in-game day since we shot this down? So I expect whatever survivors they were been to have scurried off into the landscape and they'll be entrenched by now. Alright, we have direct eyes on the prize, such as it is. Don't know whether it's much of a prize. We're gonna throw that there. Viking. We're gonna throw that there. Those will be the only two folks I send out this turn. Alright, so we know there's shenanigans within the large scout. Um, Illyrium core is still in existence, otherwise there'd be a hole blown to that roof. Large scout, huh? Alright. You go ahead and, as much as I love this building, for all the yummy, juicy aliens it could contain, we could push towards it or we could mine this. In case there's any stragglers that want to come out. I think I want to try and take the building. So we're going to move out towards it. As crazy as that might seem. Both good and bad actually play with a map that has cover. You know, there is there is some advantage to just having like everyone exposed down the open, even aliens. Since you're so good with these grenades, die throws. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and make yourself a fucking useful asshole? <sighs> nah, I'm still not annoyed at him for what he did. I totally won't carry that, that, that axe and judge him like that for the rest of his days. No, I would never. Probably never. In a moment of weakness, he allowed himself to be mind-controlled. Max McMahon, no shot up there. Rookie, needs to get a kill, make it to squatting. To all these rooks. They could be up for promotion at any moment. Let's expose the mountain to the open. We'll see who sticks, who lives, who dies. And D. Snyder. We'll leave you here. Alright. Wagner's death does leave another experienced soldier uh, gone, who would otherwise be of some value. Of course, have a few soldiers of merit who are uh, still recovering from their injuries. Jeff Borkins here, Captain Jeff Borkins. Very, very damn powerful. Would very much enjoy keeping Jeff alive. If I did an assault on a base, like, you know, for the commander, he'd probably be the one guy I keep in the back to abort the mission in case everyone else died. That's how valuable he is. How I feel anyway. Story, I'm sticking to it. Alright, that happened. Hi. See, now, if we had proxed this, we would have killed that floater, possibly. And then we wouldn't have threatened being shot and killed here. See, that's on me. I, I'm willing to concede that's on me. <laughs> One with the plan. How about we learn from our mistakes? He says as he prepares to charge the building anyway. <laughs> yes, learn from our mistakes. <clears throat> All right, Max McMahon's got his kill. 
Dyeth Rose ended up getting a kill too. Good work. A rare compliment for me towards Diathros, I believe. Alright, that's mined again, so we probably shouldn't run Diathros out in front of that. Probably. Had to deal with floater scum, who could float around and attack us from any fucking angle. At least there's no hole blown in that. I know, I typically enjoy that, unless it's floaters, right? Then I'm like, well, son of a bitch. Not so fun, then. Go along, boy. We'll leave you there for the time being. He says he's the, as he then moves you. Just completely overexposed. You know, where no one can really support him. I think that's a good move. And you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> Hopefully there's uh, no other friends there to shoot us down. Did I say friends? I meant horrible death aliens who wanted to kill us. Hi! Hi, I sort of see you. Oh, you're at the top of the staircase. I actually have a shot on you. <laughs> Neat! Now that's confirmed there's someone up there, I'm willing to run you back out, I guess. Magic Mike. Maybe your reaction food will be strong enough. You know, since you can be seen, you can be shot at. I don't particularly like that, but it's where we are in life, and I think you're just going to have to get over it. I do. These fucking buildings are typically death traps for everyone. It, it doesn't matter who you are, it's a death trap. I'm like, great. It's everything I ever wanted. Death trap. Oh boy. Carry your little hover ass on. Alright, horse. We could throw an explosive up there. We could also just... Since there's vertical reach to it, we can just lay one down beneath the floater's feet, like beneath the ceiling. Maybe the explosion reaches up, kills him. Since we got some Z level power to the explosions. Fire a rocket up at it. I don't like the idea of a rocket. That's too, uh. too tempting to fail. We'll have horse to handle the situation, or attempt to. Worst is like, bro, I'm not shooting at you. Why you gotta be like this? I let you alone. Definitely a lot of chance there for horse to gun down Magic Mike. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Okay. Considering how like wide open horse made this, I'm gonna assume there's no aliens left up here. But we'll have Wyking go up and check. You know, be a bro. Be a positive force for the team. We've killed three. We definitely know at least one more is in the, the large scout. Good work, Horst. Got you all of your time units, but you did good. Die throws. I think I burned through. No, that's just enough time units. Good. Good. Hack a potato. Go follow. Actually, go move here. Alright, corner's clear. Good. Good, 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 good. Do you run off after him? Heavy ordnance back here. 
Not really any need for it. Bobo, we're gonna have you move out. He totally exposed this door. If the Prox doesn't kill whoever comes out, or if multiple aliens come out, you're probably dead. We'll see how it goes. Have fun, Bobo. 10 out of 10 would come along again. Now, there might not be any other floaters out and about here, but we can't be too sure on that. Hmm. Can't be too sure. Okay, I haven't heard any doors open around here, which is nice. Okay. The side's clear. Whoever's left is probably in the UFO, but it is worth checking out here. You, uh... You could be too careful, but I think it will uh, pay dividends for us to be a little cautious here instead of too gung -ho. We haven't really breached a UFO over the course of the series, and I'm willing to utilize game mechanics to our advantage here and not breach a UFO. They think screw it. Why should I let them come to me? Damn it. UFO breaching can be painful. You can go into situations where the aliens have a lot of time units instead of them coming out at you when you can mine the door. Like, hey. They can't breach another opening. Need if they could, they wouldn't be smart enough to do that. No silly aliens. Alright. spotted yet. I'm being a little risky with the movement, but I did say that I would try to keep you know, these missions relatively quick-paced. There have been some exceptions, of course, over the throughout the life of this series. Like the Arctic mission, the Icelandic mission we just did. feel careful this building, but I haven't heard any doors open. Like... <laughs> I'm not even sure where the hell he is. No line of fire. That's tragic. Uh, I don't know if you'll get a line of fire just by moving out. Guess we could try. Yeah, it's about as well as I expected it to go. Nicely done. Good work. You folks are damn trying to redeem yourselves. Makes me proud of you a little bit. That you're trying. You're doing your duty. As the Emperor commands. Good. 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 Spotted and shot. Damn death trap buildings. Unknown dancer watching this door just in case. That's fine. Let's keep it going. That was nice, though. That was, that was a nice, nice defeat there. Did not cost someone's life. Like I do believe, Large McMahon Huge was the one who died in a similar situation. The details of which were 
discussed around the time of that event, both in the video and in the comments below. Stay in position for now. Then I'm not going to move out the more experienced folks. I don't see a point in doing so. We haven't lost anyone despite some reckless maneuvering. Makes me feel good. Okay. I decide a large scout now. Looks clear over here. Just want to confirm that there is no hole at the top of that, so I don't have to deal with floaters coming out from that angle. Doesn't hurt to check that. I've been absolutely sure and totally confident of plenty of things that I turned out to be wrong on. So, <laughs> the situation like that doesn't hurt to check. Enjoyed it. Sections clear. We just have that fortified bunker over there. I haven't heard any doors open, and no doors are open over there. Last time I said that, though, a floater was on the roof. Not enough energy. Bobo actually ran out of energy. All that smoke inhalation, you know. Smoking gills. Alright, well, why don't we have you? Yeah, just shoot that area. Run up. And, because I value you so greatly, we're just going to have you sweep that on your own. No support. Other than D. Shaking his head. Lamenting how you betrayed a member of XCOM back in the day. <laughs> oh, shit. Bobo, we're just gonna let you take a break, buddy. I don't think I'm gonna move anyone. Yeah, I think whoever's left is uh in the UFO. I love how I turn around to check after I run past it. Yeah, all right, nice. Well, we're just gonna utilize game mechanics, make them come to us. Dying storm that. You're out of your mind. I've learned to, I've learned enough about storming UFOs over the years to not want to do it. I can click and turn. Hmm. I'm not too good for that. here, and I suppose I can move you back to this point, Ferret. I think that was a nice sweep of the exterior. Wasn't too timely. 
I say that as we've spent 20 minutes in this damn mission. We've certainly had far quicker missions. This one would have went pretty well, but it ain't over yet. It could still turn into a bloodbath. We've had that happen before with missions. That'd certainly be disappointing. Some of you would find it amusing, I'm sure. Well, holy shit, Unknown Dancer. Damn. Damn, but that was spooky for him. <gasps> what the fuck? Okay. We could throw an explosive to deal with this guy, guaranteed. Or we could have Unknown Dancer go for a kill. Tell you what, Unknown Dancer. Let's do it. Even though you have a grenade in your hand. Alright. That was close. Nearly lost Unknown Dancer. Would have stayed perpetually unknown. Alright. For now, now a sergeant. Let's buy some more prox grenades. Buy 20 more prox and 20 more smoke. Because I'm crazy. Grenades don't take up much space. I guess I'm also just not going to end the video. What the hell? We'll, we'll have a little bit of geoscape after that battle, too. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess that's happening. Yeah, I suppose that's a thing. Mm hmm. Definitely a thing. What's up? How you doing? Are you guys gonna set up a base in my face? That'd be rude. You gonna do a terror mission on Paris, maybe? I'm... I tell if I know. I, I don't remember all their speeds and the various values off the top of my head. Just kind of watching. Grimith likes to watch. I tell you what, let's... Let's be crazy. You and I... We've been going the distance. Aim for the sky. With a secret ambition. It's not a thing to walk the road that's paved. session go a bit longer, but maybe, 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 you know, you know, maybe you were wrong, maybe you were wrong, maybe, maybe in your hubris you made some poor choices, you may have made some poor choices. Damn. 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 Okay. Well, that set us back. <coughs> <laughs> that set us back a million? Oh, more than a million. That set us back 1.2 plus the avalanche launchers plus the laser cannons. Yeah, 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 that was, uh, most expensive mistake I've made. <laughs> Fucking attack of terror shit. <laughs> well, there's a terror mission. Why the fuck did I attack that? It's large! Okay, so... 
maybe I attacked it because I was thinking that it was a supply ship. I love now how I'm building the reasoning behind why I did it after I did it. I guess I'm trying to interface with my subconscious here. I'm thinking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a large ship can be either a supply ship or a terror ship if memory serves. And so I saw the very large land and I'm like, these motherfuckers are going to build a base in my face. I made that comment too, yeah, yeah. So I got annoyed and I was like, fuck it, let's go. Well, we went. We went. I guess I... I... I, I guess I'm going to be renaming Interceptor as well. Um, and then the terror mission on top of that. Well, shit. Why didn't we just wait for it to land? If we were concerned about, well, whatever. Like, the very large... Like, even if it was they, they were together to build a base, like, the very large is the one responsible for that mission. And, like, as I proved with the alien base that was set up in the Arctic, me derailing a supply ship wouldn't change that. Just fucking threw away basically $1.5 million. If I wasn't building laser cannons, this run would be fucked. Okay, so it wouldn't be guaranteed fucked. That's a huge setback. This is still a huge setback. Like, this prohibits me from... Like, setting up the things that I wanted to do with the laboratory to get, like, the research done. What a colossal expense that is. All because I wanted to fucking rock and roll. What the shit? I was even fucking singing that stupid Break the Rules... But it's not stupid, it's a great song. Payday 2, Break the Rules song. You and I... We've been going the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well... Maybe we should have walked the road that's paved. <laughs> because we just went on the trail to get fucked. <laughs> um, so join me next time, everyone, when I, uh, I, I sob. Let's, let's go ahead and not send out Lance Lance. Let's just, let's just set this up. Oh my god, that was beautiful. <laughs> Um, hmm. Who do we take off here? Jeff, Porkins, and a bunch of scrubs. What a what a colossal disaster for XCOM. <laughs> Fucking Emperor didn't protect shit. <laughs> I'm like, I have two dudes here. Like we can I, if we get heavily damaged, I'll just run. No damage to all damage. I can probably shoot this down. Treating it like it's a fucking abductor or harvester instead of a damn terror ship. Oh, shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have stopped the video after, after the battle, Grimith. Maybe you should have done that. Maybe you should have done that. Yeah, well, this will definitely end the session now. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you take care, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day or night, wherever you are. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hiking down the trail and get fucked. <laughs>